Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR. And yes, folks, we're already back once again because you guys are so awesome and you love the return of Tiny Town. So today, we have a brand new disaster. I have one picked out that, well, I wouldn't say picked out because it was one of the top comments on the last one. And it's something I've been thinking of anyways. So we're going to do a brand new disaster over here today. And I'll explain what we're doing here in just a second. But if you missed it, we did do the return of Tiny Town, and we did it with the Big Bang. So as you can see there, we have uh, two nuclear subs heading their way into the city. Uh, they're launching missiles, there's a battle going on, people are parachuting in, it's all sorts of chaos. So if you missed that episode, I'll flash it in the top right corner. But today, we've got a big monster that's coming to town. So last episode, I did mention something about building like a harbor area slash power plant. And we're doing that today, and unfortunately, we have a little buddy here that's wanting to attack it. So let me pull him up. Today, we are finally going to be using Godzilla. Now, initially, I didn't want to use, which Godzilla is realistically, like, probably like that big. Oh, that's so massive and awesome looking. Now, I was going to build my own. Uh, I started to uh, before this recording, and I realized that I am just not that creative with the shapes. I barely got the basic shapes of like Baldy, uh, Bob, and Dob over there. And Godzilla honestly was just a little too much for me. So we are going to be using the Workshop Godzilla here. Looks absolutely amazing. I kind of want to give it like a hug or something. Except for it might bite my face off. I'm not really sure. Alright, so we're going to toss that away. That's what we're doing here today. If you guys have any suggestions for future episodes, comment below. And if you're enjoying the return of Tiny Town on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's jump into this. All right, so here we are. So we have used quite a few of the boats, but one thing I don't think we've ever used, which is a miracle considering how much we've built, uh, we've never really used any of the buildings in this pack. So I did elevate the uh, the ground up a little bit here. And the reason I did that, uh, you can actually put these on the side and this will be for like ships to bounce off of. And I thought they would look good like that. So we've got that, we got a corner piece. It's gonna take a little bit of building up here before we uh, get our harbor in place. But the idea is that there's gonna be a power plant there and Godzilla needs to harness some of its power and help shut down the city. So it's probably gonna be going that way. Now I do have a Mecha Godzilla, which we could use that one too. I'm a little undecided there. Uh, maybe we'll add it into the battle. But yeah, let me go ahead and surround this with these little tires here. All right, so we've already used the lighthouse. We actually used it over on our prison island, so I don't think we're going to do that one. Uh, I actually uh, probably lied. We have used a couple things, uh, like some of the docks and stuff, but I need to go ahead and add the sheds. This will probably be a big... Uh, ooh, is this a really huge building? Oh, wow. So this will be somewhat of like a shipping area for cargo ships. Uh, we'll put the big cranes on. Let me go ahead and turn on snapping here. Actually, I think it was already on. There we go. So place that down. Uh, let's go ahead and get the other color here. We got a blue one that we can place in. That is such an odd building because it like spawns right into you. So we got that. Let's even those up. So I think the ships will kind of be along this area, but they might come up and down here. Maybe not big ships. I'm not really sure yet. All right, let's see, what else can we add here? What are these? These are, oh man, they have even more warehouses. This is pretty insane. These are big too. Uh, what do these look like? Actually, I uh, kind of like those. All right, we're gonna stick uh, maybe one or two of these along this side. Now I gotta find a way to connect this to Tiny Town or connect this to Disaster City. I'm thinking down there where that airplane is, uh, we're gonna have a bridge that runs across and it should connect into a road. I was gonna do it back here, but I figured ships are going to go up and down it, so it's going to need to be like an elevated uh, or one of those little bridges that goes up. And I think that's how you're going to get over to this area. All right, so I got to keep in mind, there's going to be a bit of a battle going on here because the military is going to be trying to fend off Godzilla. So I want to leave some room here for the military. Uh, I've got some of these big shipping cranes. Uh, I'll probably do a couple of these. We'll stick one right here. Probably need like one there, and then maybe we'll use the smaller cranes. Uh, we'll do a couple of these real quick. They probably don't need to be that close. Maybe we'll put one on the corner here. That actually kind of looks good. Okay, so we got our harbor area. The power plant's going to be back there. 
So, let's see. We've got some more stuff we can add. Uh, what does it look like? Say if we had a cargo ship already setting here. What is the scaling like? Do I scale these up? Hold on, let's look at this compared to another one. Try to keep everything fairly even in Tiny Town. These need to be scaled down just a tiny bit. There we go, and that should basically... Actually, it's not going to let me do it, not unless I turn off snapping. I'm going to stick it below here. So you're going to have, like, workers were actually uh, loading this thing up. Uh, let's get it closer. All right, so I'm thinking the shipping yard is, uh, it's pretty well underway here. So you got the new, uh, the warehouses, of course, that we went over. I did add some cargo containers, so you can see where they're actually loading them up onto the cargo ship. I probably need to think about Godzilla now, because a lot of it's going to be based on the position of the creature itself. So if we were to grab this, it's so small. It's amazing how big that thing gets. Okay, so let's go. All right, so Godzilla a lot of times emerges from the water, so that's where it's going to be coming from. Let's see, what does it look like when it's halfway in the water like that? That is not bad. Hold on, let's get a scaling. So if we were standing on this duck, oh geez, I don't think that's still big enough. Uh, what do you guys think? Does Godzilla probably needs to be bigger? Godzilla is actually a really massive, I guess really depending on which one you're looking at. I know the latest American version was pretty big, so... We're gonna make Godzilla a little bit beefier. So Godzilla's coming out of the water there. That is actually kind of frightening looking. Okay, so for sure we have to have one ship getting tipped over by Godzilla. Like it would be a shame if we didn't do that. Uh, maybe we can use the lumber ship here. So skinny it down a little bit. It's gonna be getting knocked over like that. There we go. Actually already flooding there. And we'll have people falling over. So Godzilla is going to be coming this way. Military is going to be trying to gather up. Probably need to turn Godzilla slightly more to the side. That way it's more like a direct facing with the uh, where the power plant's going to be. It's so chaotic. It's like you have a battle going on. Nuclear subs are coming in and Godzilla's on its way along with all of the other stuff that's already happening in the city here. All right, let's get back to work here. Got to finish up this place. Okay, so I think we'll have a little bit of like a refinery area because I do have uh, one of the uh, tankers over here. Kind of looks like the Stormworks tanker once you uh, once you think about it. So let's go dut 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 and dut. Okay, so they could fill up there. Do we have any sort of pumping stations? Uh, I don't think so. Somewhere's where they could fill this over. Is there a little box or something I can use? What's that? A mooring? I have no clue what that is actually. Uh, that's a transformer. Huh, how would they get this aboard? It's another buoy. I don't know, we'll have to figure out a way. Maybe there's a pipe or something we can run across to make it look like it's actually running into the ship. So we got that. Now we need to find the power plant itself. So you got the, uh, I think it's right here. There it is. What's this one? There's a bigger one. Hmm, I kind of like this one a little bit better. So we're going to stick this thing back here. We'll keep it full scale, which it might look small at the moment, but we're really high up in the air right now. All right, so it's probably going to be nuclear powered. So we'll go one, two. Uh, we got two cooling towers. Uh, will we need any of these other smokestacks? You know, let's just stick a couple on the side for decorations. I don't really remember how a power plant exactly works. So we'll just go with that. There we go. And I think I'm going to put more shipping stuff here in the middle. And then we'll add the army coming through too. All right, so we're starting to build this power plant. I'm not really sure how 100% I want to approach it. Now, I know it looks a little odd. So, of course, we're just going to call this because Tiny Town is ridiculous and Disaster City. Uh, the layout can be questionable. So, yeah, the cooling towers are kind of right lined up with the uh, runway here on the airport. So you kind of have to make a big dive in order to get to it. And that's probably why all the planes are crashing. I don't know. So we got that. I added some more warehouses. Uh, I think we're ready to start moving on to little details and people. And then we'll start throwing in the military. So the Maritime doesn't have many really good worker people. Yeah, it's really just got sailors and stuff like that. But a lot of these people are going to be working with heavy equipment. So I think we'll be able to use like the construction workers here. And they should be the ones working at the docks. Now, we can add some uh, captains and maybe a couple sailors, but I think I want to use these for a lot of it. And that just looks so intimidating up there. Like, this guy's just going to be pointing out Godzilla because, yeah, he's probably done pooed his pants. He doesn't have anything to do here. He's just going to panic and just stand there and look. That's amazing. 
Alright, so I'm adding detail to the ship that Godzilla is toppling over. So it was a lumber ship, so I have lumber sliding off and kind of falling into the water. So we can kind of guide you guys along this. Check this out. People are sliding down. Everybody's trying to hold on for dear life. I'm pretty sure this lumber wouldn't float. I mean, if it was a bunch of single pieces, yes, but the big bundles, probably not. Let's set that a little further down. That way it looks like it's just like three pieces and he's trying to climb onto that. People are swimming away. The captain sees what's happening. And yeah, the captain's in probably pretty bad shape right now. All right, so we got that. I've added people to the ships up here. Some people are jumping down. Actually, I need to find like a, I guess it's called a gangway. It's the uh, little thing from the ship to the uh, shore here. Well, some ships have them attached to them, but I think we need to either make our own or we need to find one to make it look like they're actually loading up. Actually, you know what? We can use a dock. Uh, can we... Ooh, do they have another one that doesn't have the legs on it? Uh, I don't think so. Dang it. Well, maybe we could still use this. If we were to stick this like that, that doesn't look bad except for the leg right there. Hold on, let's grab that again. Let's get a little further out. There we go. So that'll be our gangway. Maybe we'll have a couple people running down it too. All right, so that's pretty good. Pretty happy with this so far. Oh, let's go and get us a person here. Uh, let's grab this dude here. He's going to be booking it trying to get away from Godzilla here. So, we got this. I'm still debating on Mecha Godzilla. Maybe we'll do a part two. I don't think I'll add it yet because I like to get feedback first uh, before I start to add other things. So, certain other things that we do need. We need more people. Uh, we need some cars in here. We need military. So, still quite a bit to do here. All right, so we've added more detail. We've started to get some shipping vehicles in, vans, trucks loaded with boxes, lumber. Uh, about everything that we need is coming through here. So we got that. People are still running away. I'm pretty satisfied with this part so far. So we've got this. Power plant-wise, I can add some workers. I've added some details to it. I got like a little uh, transformer station back here, which I, I kind of thought it was really small, so I stacked a bunch of them together. So we got that. We got like the... Oh, I just deleted the main building. Hold on, let's go boop. Okay, that's back. So we got that. Got some more containers. I think what's going to happen... We're going to bring the water this way. I could see a Godzilla's tail poking out. And I think this is going to be the shoreline somewhere over here. So we've got that. I'm still debating on it. We need to get to some of the fun stuff, though. So let's go. We got military here. Hmm, let's get to some vehicles. So, they're going to be putting up a fight against Godzilla. They're going to already have tanks here, because why not? I mean, there's tanks all over the city. Like, I swear, we have enough tanks for a whole army here in Tiny Town. I always picture the Godzilla movies where, especially the older ones, uh, where you could definitely tell they're all, like, models and stuff. I uh, always see in the tanks. They were always in these ridiculous lines, and you can see the firecrackers going out of them. And they were shooting at Godzilla, and everything's just bouncing off of them. Uh, so we got those. Uh, what tank is this? I guess it's just like a different style. So we'll add those. Maybe it'll be like a tank commander back here. So we'll put the commander back here. So that's one tank squad going in. Uh, we'll have the troops arriving in, the troop transports here. So we'll have a couple of these. That was one thing I never understood about Godzilla movies. Why are you sending in people with machine guns? Like, poor little troops that have no chance... You're going to send them in there ultimately to probably die. I never understood that either. I love the movies, by the way. I'm not I'm not knocking them. Like, it's just uh, those little things that you always catch where you're like, you know what? That doesn't make too much sense. All right, so we got the military coming in. There's people with some RPGs. Maybe the RPGs. Do you think Godzilla can fill one of those? I don't know. It might just feel like a tickle. Minigun might be a little annoying to Godzilla. You know, this guy's going to have a minigun on him. All right, so we got those. Get some more rifles. So we got people. Uh, they're coming out of the uh, the transports here. Uh, we're going to stick this one on his back. There we go. So, yeah, they're coming out of the transports here. You got some troops running up. I've got a tank commander here uh, commanding all the other ones to fire. Some troops spread out over here. We got a little squad over here getting ready to, I guess, tickle the beast. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Uh, yeah, there's a lot going on here. So, missiles. Hmm, do we have a missile truck? Those would probably be pretty annoying to Godzilla. Oh, let's get some of these flashes. We got some muzzle flashes, too. Uh, I really wish we could actuate the tank and, like, move its gun barrel up. 
But that is unfortunately not a thing. We'll have a couple of these firing. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of wish it was a thing where we can turn them and move them up, but oh well, it is what it is. Okay, so we don't have a missile truck, but what we do have now, these. Yeah, there we go. Attack helicopters. Actually, I think these are really terrible in skill. Yeah, these need to be much bigger. There we go. That right there is probably appropriate. Now, these will probably annoy Godzilla a lot. So let's get a couple of these. Let's get a kind of a squadron of them heading in like a little wing formation here. And then uh, I think that's called a wing formation. I could be completely wrong about that. Uh, I want to have one that's going down. So actually, maybe there was a couple that made it before these. So we'll have one. Oh, I deleted one. I want it. We'll have one going down in the water here, which I think that looks pretty cool. We'll probably have like the pilot jumping out. And then one... Uh, oh, that is extremely big. No, let's not do that. I want to have one maybe crashing into Godzilla. Now, how you crash into Godzilla, I have no clue. But yeah, you're crashing into... You know, I got an idea for this. So, there's a cool little method you can do here. So, we're going to spawn in one more. We're going to have its tail, which it might not work as good with the helicopter. We'll see. I'm going to bend it like that. And then what I'm going to do... Uh, let's go ahead and get the fireball here. This will be like a little explosion, but you can camouflage the whole fact that you have two of them in there. So it makes it look like uh, maybe they're splitting up or this one is splitting in half and being blown in half. So if I had enough of these fireballs and make it look like an explosion here, I think we can get away with doing this. So you get that effect. So you can see the snapping. I think I camouflaged that pretty well. It's easier to do this with like a plane, uh, the helicopter blade sticking out can be a bit of a pain so that one's being blown up uh let's see do we have a which i'm assuming we do do we have somebody that looks like a pilot here uh this guy kind of does even though he's spec ops do we have an actual dedicated oh here we go all right so here's our dedicated pilot so let's go ahead and zoom down here we'll have this one uh escape in here there we go. I don't think I'm gonna use planes for this one. I always use planes for like everything else, including like even last episode. Uh, we use planes for like the uh, the attacks on the uh, subs. So I think we're gonna go with that. Now, of course, we got to get some missiles in the air, so they are shooting at Godzilla. I might add some more like explosions to like Godzilla itself to make it look like some impacts on the uh, for the missiles here. So we'll have those kind of flying in. Are those any bit on target? Uh, actually, yeah, they are. Okay, they look pretty good. They're not, uh, exactly straight. Oh, let's go, boop. Uh, let's get some more of these. So, yeah, they're just raining in missiles from each of them here, trying to take Godzilla down. You know, I'm pretty happy with this. This is turning out pretty good. Now, it wouldn't be a Tiny Town episode if we didn't add one character here. And you know what? It's Oblivious Grandma, and yeah, she's got a score to settle. So everybody always thinks of uh, Grandma as some sort of, we'll call her a, a frail, a fragile character that has no clue what's going on, but not today. Grandma is mad, and she is mad at Godzilla, and she wants to talk to their manager, and you know what, we're gonna throw her up here. She's scaled Godzilla, and she's going for the attack, so she is armed to the teeth here. She's got an RPG, which looks like it's the si- why is this so big? <laughs> I don't remember this being that big, okay, so... We're gonna strap an RPG to her back. She got the sawed off shoddy that'll be on her hip here. She's got the, uh, I guess the AR right here. Or maybe the M16. And then she's strapped with grenades. She's got it going. She's going after Godzilla here. Uh, let's get you a couple of those. Make sure we'll strap those to the front of you here. There we go. Yeah, Grandma's got it going on here. She is ticked. She's going after Godzilla. Yeah, it's probably the last place a lot of people would think that I'd put that character. <laughs> oh, boy. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this part of the Godzilla Invasion series. I do want to do one more, but what do you guys think? Where should Mechagodzilla be? What should Mechagodzilla be doing? And is there any other areas, like right over here, that we should be building? So let me know down in the comments section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town. Thank you.